hey this is sensibility speaks welcome to my channel thanks for stopping by and don't forget to like share and subscribe all right y'all it is about that time let's sip some sensibility shall we so carlos king is very selective in terms of who he chooses to protect as it relates to marriages and women when it comes to his love and marriage huntsville cast okay and we all know that the black woman is the least protected and i've said that in several videos okay the least protected out here shout out to malcolm x right so according to him love and marriage huntsville since the cast had such history together and added texture and a level of depth to the storylines he felt like having organic history is the recipe for success when doing an unscripted reality show is to have that history, right? And also, according to Carlos, the biggest challenge is providing an environment where a cast feels comfortable talking about their real life in front of the camera crew and subsequently millions of viewers. Child, we don't know about millions, but we're going to give you some hundreds of thousands, especially the way your ratings have been dropping, okay? And he goes on to say that in reality TV, that they're not actors on his show and they're not relying on a script. I call bullshit, which are recycled storylines. I already did a video about how Stormy passed on the baton to Tiffany about them getting on Kiki saying that, oh, well, you know, if you would do that to your family and friends, then I can't trust you. Oh, I don't know if I can like Kiki because of that. Okay. So we know that Tiffany is harping on that. And originally that's what Stormy did. Honey, miss me with the realism because the Scots still ain't talked about their alleged liens and lawsuits and all that stuff, child. We haven't even scratched the surface on all of their legal woes and drama, allegedly, okay? That's the shit we want to see. We want to see reality. That's what we want to see, all right? We don't want to see no bullshit of them asking about, oh, what's up with Melanie and Martell, child? That horse that rode off to the damn sunset, Okay gone in the night, disappeared, ain't goddamn coming back. We want to hear their storyline. But since you are a lover of black men and tradition, you're going to protect the black man at all costs and shit on black women and to hell with them, okay? No, I take that back. You do protect Kimmy to a degree and Tisha to a degree because Tisha don't know no damn better because she don't even make a fuss, child. She just happened to have that little piece of man and speaking of Tisha, who considers herself to be a power couple, I call bullshit, but she put up in her stories that marriage is work, marriage is responsibility, marriage is patience, marriage is sacrifice, marriage is forgiveness, honey. And also, now you didn't put this in the story, but marriage is also burying your damn head in the sand and pretending like you don't know that motherfucker is messing around and effing around on you, child. That's what marriage is for you, is to turn a goddamn blind eye and pretend like he ain't doing what the F he's doing, child, bye. So that is the fake image of marriage that Carlos King chooses to protect, to where a black woman believes in struggle love, long-suffering, happy to have a man, a piece of man, a half a man, a chauvinistic man, as long as she's married to him, regardless of the fact that the Bama want to move up the road in a goddamn bachelor pad with his 16-year-old son, just so he can dip out and creep out on your ass from time to time, okay? Without you looking all up in his face. Child, he don't want to come home to you every night. He's trying to make it clear some damn time so he can go see his mistress. But see, that's the type of marriage that Carlos wants to protect. And don't get me started with Love and Marriage Detroit, child. I'm going to do another review on that, actually. I don't even want to go there. But yeah. So no, Carlos, you want to exploit the black woman and protect the black man. Your recipe for success is toxic as fuck, okay? You own some old loving hip hop, Zeus Network type shit, like I said in a few other videos, and to hell with showing a healthy black family, all in the name of tradition. No, I call bullshit all in the name of misogyny. Anyway, honey, when Carlos was wiping Melody's tears in this particular scene, and he had that little grin on his face, child, you could give a rest ass. You're just happy that she's damn filming, telling all her business. And that's a good thing that she did so she can have everything on air documented in terms of the poor treatment she received from Martel because the world needed to see it. He needed to be put on blast. Well, honey, you got a little devilish grin, child. We know that you 
might be his benefactor and his sponsor child because you got a crush on Marty Mar Marty on a bust it down, don't you? On the one hand, you want to see them together because this show is a cash cow for you at that time in particular and still now to a degree. So that's the only reason you want her to stay in a toxic ass marriage, child. Shame on you. I bet you wouldn't tell your damn sister or another family member or close friend to stay in a toxic-ass marriage. No, I take that back, honey. If you thought it could benefit you, you probably would. Yeah. Because we know just before the show was about to air, she found out that Martel was still cheating. Because remember, they have been separated, what, six, seven, eight months or however long? And the only reason she decided to reconcile with him at that time is because of the show. And let me tell it, I think Melody would have divorced Martell way back even before the show aired and had Love and Marriage Huntsville never happened, they would have been divorced, okay? And even though we love our beloved little sugar mama, honey, that is our honorary niece, none of that would have happened. And the Lord had a different plan because baby girl's meant to be here. That's the only blessing that came from them reuniting and her star rising. So here we are now. So when I talk about who Carlos chooses to protect, we all know the story about how Marcel told Carlos straight up after the first season or maybe during the first season, I don't think we could do this again because I'm going to lose my marriage or he didn't want all of his ish out on Front Street because they saw everything going on with Melody and Martel, how Melody is uber transparent, just putting it all on blast. And as she should have, much to his chagrin, but hey, it is what it is. And Marcel was probably reticent and like, mm -mm, you ain't putting all my cheating out for the world to see. Hell no, I got an image to protect. I got my BS company that I'm trying to put out there and to garner and make a coin, okay? So saying all that to say, here we are now, Carlos, you brokered her deal with the Scots 1.0 and agreed not to put their shit on blast and only to show black and whatever made up endeavors they may or may not have. But you didn't want to dig too, too deep in a marriage. And we all know that Tisha didn't have a storyline. Melody's trying to ruin my marriage. Girl, your marriage was already damn ruined. Honey, you're just a step for wife. Happy to have a man with your pick me ass. Okay. So Carlos, you choose to protect this black woman, Tisha, but you choose to exploit another black woman, Melody Cherie, all for a coin. But let's face it, you wouldn't have had this love and marriage franchise, okay? Be it Huntsville, be it DC, and now Detroit in tow, had it not been for Melody Cherie. Call it synchronicity, call it serendipity, or what have you. But she was your muse, she was your good luck charm at the time, and you would not have had that show. But yet, you're going to protect the man who threatened to put a revenge pee tape out on her. And you've yet to address it. And then when people ask you during interviews about Martel and his cheating, oh, cheating is just a mistake. Oh, he's a good person. It's just a mistake. You try to diminish it and try to downplay it like he's not an awful ass person. Like he's not a malignant narcissist, right? Oh, it's just a mistake. Oh, he's a good person. You know, people make mistakes. No, mistakes my ass. That was a choice for you to conceive a damn baby and step out during your wife who just had your child at one or two or three months old during a goddamn pandemic to conceive another damn child. That's a choice and a reckless one at that. But he's paying for that dearly. Oh, Martiana busted down. Oh, yes, he is. But yet you choose to go on an award tour with Martel in order to or attempting to clean up his image. But yet, all the while, you're exploiting Melody Cherie. We haven't even seen Miss Vanessa air on any episode this season except Behind the Glass when Martel was hollering in her face and I believe one of the aunties or another elder when he was yelling at them at the goddamn skating ring. That's the only time that we saw a glimpse of Miss Vanessa. We barely saw her except during that skating ring episode and from what they say, a lot of her being filmed, and she was filmed according to Melody and her, all of that was left on the editing cutting room floor, okay? So that's all by design. You hate the fact that the fans love Melody Cherie. She has a huge, enormous fan base that rallies and galvanizes behind her, and you can't stand it, Carlos. So you're trying to ice her out of her own show, okay? Yes, I said it, her show. Because the fact that you didn't show her last week, honey, your views were not all that. And I looked the damn views up, okay? 
And according to, I believe it was Anonymous C, shout out to her, I think it was her, who was saying that OWN has not renewed a seventh season. I think it was her for Love and Marriage, Huntsville Child. And if you're going to be isolating and shitting on Melody, I hope they don't renew you for another season, okay? And so again, you choose to protect Tisha because you're so enamored by Marceau and Maurice Scott, okay? With their tradition, their <coughs> misogynistic and chauvinistic ways because you said you grew up like that where the woman was a happy homemaker, child. I'm sure your mama won't that happy, but God rest her soul, child. Taking care of all them damn kids. But anyway, you said your mother was a stay-at-home mom, a homemaker, and your father was a protector and provider, honey, child. And so you can relate to the Scott men from that perspective. But by default, you end up protecting Tisha as well. And see, the reason why you protect Tisha is because she's not a threat to you. And you probably also like the fact that Tisha is old-fashioned as fuck. And if Marcel tells her to jump, her ass is going to be like, how high, okay? On the other hand, we know that Melody Cherie is a force unto herself, honey. Yes, she is. She has a plethora of business ventures. You know, I'm not naming them all, but you get what I'm saying. So she's a threat to you because, as you know, there have been numerous blackouts. And that's why with each respective season, the views go down unless Melody Cherie promotes the show, then we'll watch it. But a lot of us watch it anyway, because we support Melody Cherie. That's it. That's all. Okay. And honey, if you do get renewed for a seventh season, you said that you are going to redesign the whole show. Okay. Your proof of concept, the business model, just in terms of who is going to be the main cast members and things like that. And many have been saying for quite some time that it was rumored that Ariane Curry was bragging um, in a beauty shop, nail salon to her friends, however the hell it got out, that she was invited to Stormy's party. And so we know that on July 29th, Stormy has a party, child. She posted it. She says, join Stormy still and guests for her birthday celebration and Canvas Beauty's five-year anniversary event will be held at Stormy's private pasture, blah, blah, blah. We know that's going to be filmed. But honey, if you put Miss Ariane Carey on there, honey, all hell is going to break loose. Honey, if you think you're losing viewers now, your ship is going to sink to the bottom. Let me tell you this, okay? Because we're not having it. Us, the fans, the supporters, millimeters, whatever the hell you want to call us, honey, we are not going to support you exploiting and spitting in Melody Cherie's face, honey, by bringing that goddamn trial up on the show. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We are not going to support it, okay? It's bad enough you tried to embarrass Melody on that damn reunion talking about some. She was the whole meal, the whole entree. Child, that bitch ain't nothing but a goddamn Scooby snack, okay? I mean, you know that Funky Deneva nicknamed her coleslaw, honey. Child, I'm going to call her Scooby snack, child, because Martel treats her like a goddamn dog. Yes, he does. He dogs the hell out of her. And she's still at his goddamn beck and call. Girlfriend is in her early 30s. Girlfriend is going to mess around and be pushing down 40 and been a waste of her damn youth effing with Martell, who ain't going to marry her, okay? And if he does marry her, he's going to treat her goddamn 10 times worse than he ever treated Melody. Please believe that. Please believe that, okay? So anyway, I just wanted to jump on and give this commentary because I'm just like, now you're picking and choosing who you want to protect. Only reason Tisha's getting protection is because she is under Marceau and she don't make waves. You're not threatened by her. You're highly threatened by Melody Cherie, honey, because again, she is a force unto herself, child. And she is loving marriage, Huntsville. And she did help put you on the map in terms of you and your production company with these spinoff shows, because we know that you tried to do Hollywood Divas with Todd. You know, that didn't work out. It was what it was for when it was. But for the success that you have now, yeah, you owe Melody Cherie. And she better be the executive producer for any and every damn thing you do, shall? Anyway, y'all drop down in the comments and y'all tell me what you think about how he only protects certain people. Because in my opinion, Carlos is extremely self-serving and he only protects his own self-interest, okay? Talking about he's fascinated by black men and their traditions, child. Just say you're a misogynist, a same gender loving misogynist. You don't have to be a heterosexual straight man to be a misogynist, right? And we know that all same gender loving men, they are not misogynists. That's not what I'm saying. So don't misconstrue that. Anyway, this is Sensibility Speaks. Thanks for stopping by. 
And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.